This is a Heathkit DX40 and a Heathkit VF1 VFO. Had a little trouble uh, fixing it because the schematics are slightly different, but finally I figured that out. Uh, the first thing we do is we put it in the tune position and we adjust the grid current to about 3 mils and you see the VFO works. Okay. And then we put it in the plate position and uh, we load it up. You'll see the light bulb go up. The light bulb, we load it up and we see the light bulb glow, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to put it in the CW position and we dip the final and we raise this up and we dip the final. Okay. Okay, and, and there we are. And then uh, I'm going to put it in the phone position. Okay, AM. Okay, that's feedback. You can hear the feedback from the microphone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello, test. Hello, test. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello, test. So we see it works in the phone position. I am going to change the VFO to its other position. Okay, it's in the 80 meter position, and we'll see how that works. Let's put the tune in, tune position in. Okay. And then we'll put it in the CW position. And there we are. Okay, that's 80 meters. Uh, we'll try 40 meters, uh, 20 meters. Okay, we'll try 20 meters. Usually the output drops as you go higher in frequency with the DX40. And uh, let's, oh, I should put this up on 20. Let's find, see if we can find it. That grid current's getting kind of high. 14.2. Okay. Let's see. That's, that's, we don't want too much good current. There we are. Okay. And let's see if we load it up on 20. Uh, drop the plate. There, I saw it there for a second. There we are. And you can see the light bulb coming up. And up it goes.